Hey guys, so this is the new XB7 modem that the Xfinity um, guy brought this morning about a couple, about, I would say about two hours ago almost. Uh, the reason for it is because, you know, uh, basically we thought that, you know, stuff was going on, which believe it or not, it was. Long story short, on Sunday evening, I think it was, no, it was Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday evening, or sa throughout the day, throughout the afternoon into the evening, I should say, on Saturday, the cable was kind of acting up a little bit. It was like something uh, wasn't connecting right. Something was, you know, not, you know, fixing itself and everything. And apparently it seemed like there was some kind of outage. Now I asked about, and some people did say in the region here where I live, that they were experiencing something similar. Not just in Newman, but in Patterson and all that. Then, on top of that, um, then on top of that, I checked Twitter, and apparently I wasn't the only one dealing with this. Not just here, you know, in Newman, Patterson and all that, but across the country. There were parts of the country that were dealing with something similar. So something was going on. Something was up. And when we called the Xfinity uh, operator... Um, and as I said in my vlog yesterday, and I say it with all due respect, no offense, he had a bit of an accent. And that accent is, the con is you know, of, that, of the uh, kind of uh, person that you know mostly gets these kind of jobs. And I say that with all due respect, no offense. But basically, he did what he could to help us out. And the moment he set up our appointment, the moment he set up our appointment, for the guy to come out uh, today, or this week anyway, that's when the services suddenly started to work. I mean, the guy on the phone set signals after signal, you know, did dial uh, 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 dialysis, if you will, diagnosis as he called it. He sent signals and everything. And finally, after we hung up on him, on, we, well, we didn't hang up on him, but after we were done talking to him, scheduling the appointment to get potentially a new box and a new modem, the new modem, of course, like I just showed you, we did get, that's when everything popped back online. And it made me suspicious of the fact that, as I mentioned in the vlog yesterday before work, if maybe he and others are assigned to kind of screw up with people's uh, cable, if you will, the services just to get them to upgrade. And to me, it doesn't matter if it's Xfinity, doesn't matter if it's AT&T, Verizon, Direct, Dish. You know, if they want you to upgrade, if you will, they're determined to get you to upgrade, you know, then they're going to do whatever it takes to make you upgrade. And, you know, that's obviously what happened. But, you know, maybe it was a good thing because the speeds internet-wise and wireless-wise are faster than normal. And that's the one thing they promoted about the XB7 and with the promoting with the XB8, that the speeds are faster, much faster with a wider range. Um, the only difference between the 8 and the 7, though, is the 8 can handle up to 100 devices, well, uh, wireless-wise anyway, and the 7 can handle about 75. So the only difference is... 20 is the 7 can handle 25% or 25 uh, devices less than the, the 8. Now, over time, we'll probably get the 8, but the reason we didn't get it here is, you know, because you would think the guy would have it on him, but the reason we didn't get it is because I believe, you know, the fact that the XB8 has just come out and only like the major markets are getting it right now. Like the smaller markets, like where I'm at, we're going to get it eventually, but the major markets are getting it. Like my, old, my second oldest sister, she lives in Modesto, or at least on the borderline of Modesto and Empire. So she probably got the, um, the XB8 uh, modem. She probably got the new one. And, you know, all power to her. Because, you know, she lives in a bit of a more larger market than we do, so she probably got the 8 you know, as, you know, part of her return over to Xfinity from AT&T. But, but with that said, it's pretty much about the same. I mean, I looked it up, and it's pretty much the same. You know, the feeds are, the, the speeds are about the same, if you will. 
I'm sure the eight's a little bit more faster. And you know, the other, the only other difference is it supports 25 more devices, wireless wise, but everything else is good. Everything else is pretty much the same from what I could tell. Um, but yeah, you know, when, when the guy came to, to do this, you know, today, you know, I explained to him what happened and then he told me that apparently this past week they were working in this area here. They were working in these er in this area here that caused some interference and then some kind of wires or something were down over here or disconnected over here and they had to repair that and he basically says he knows they had to do that because he was there to issue the ticket. So uh, yeah, apparently there was an outage, some kind of interference that happened but you know not big enough for Xfinity to acknowledge it or anybody like you know operation wise and all that um, that you would talk to uh, to see what's going on would know about or be aware of so there was an issue but it wasn't that bad or wasn't that big enough for Xfinity to say yeah you have an issue going on in your area on their app but obviously you know that was indeed the case that was indeed the case. Um, but overall, it does work. Overall, it does work. I mean, the, the cable box doesn't have to be replaced at all either because, from like I said, from what the guy said, I think I mentioned this, from what the guy said, is it's still fairly new. And he has, what I'm assuming, these company, company assigned phones, or at least he had a company assigned phone that let him log into a certain app to test everything out, to activate the, the modem, to see, you know, you know, how good the box is and stuff, the cable box, and everything, you know, worked, everything was fine. And over time, a lot of stuff that was wireless did connect, like, like the camera here finally, you know, connected back up and stuff, so everything was good, everything was fine um, afterwards. But yeah, you know, that... But yeah, um, overall though the the Xfinity the X the XB8 uh, XB7 and the even the 8 to an extent, you know, are a vast improvement. You could see that not just in design, but by the fact that uh, behind you know behind it, it has it houses not two but four Ethernet ports, and um, as well as a phone jack, two phone jacks, and everything. You know, so just in case I decide down the line to get another internet cable to connect to my TV to make it a lot faster that way, besides, you know, just wireless, I might do that. So, and that's a great benefit in my opinion. But anyway, though, guys, I just wanted to come on here, show you the new XB7 uh, modem that we got from Xfinity. It, right now, it does look like it's living up to its, uh, its hype, just like I'm sure the 8's living up to its hype. In the major markets where it's at right now and if we go and upgrade to the eight in the future you know that'll be you know that'll be a choice that we make uh but anyway though guys i just wanted to come on here show you the new xfinity deal show you that that's going to be how i'm going to do some live streams and all that maybe even later today as well as some gaming hopefully without any issues because that's the one thing they promote about this is you shouldn't have any issues likewise or anything but let me know what your thoughts are, guys, if you've gone through something like this before. And until next time, God bless, take care, and I'm out.